too often can a team win 10 games in a season despite averaging less than 20 points per game. But that's exactly what Northwestern did. And the reasons? Solid running game and a very stingy defense. It may not be the Big 12 or the SEC. I don't care. Anytime a defense can only give up five touchdown passes for an entire season, that's impressive. And last season, the Wildcats ranked in the top 25 in rushing, scoring, passing, as well as overall defense. Big reason why, Anthony Walker, uh, who returns at linebacker, one of the best linebackers you're going to find in the country. Uh, 6'1", 235, could go to the NFL next year. Jalen Parker will compliment him in the linebacking court. He's a senior. Secondary has improved. This used to be a problem for the Wildcats, but they return um, a couple of players, including uh, Matthew Harris, the corner. Biggest area of concern, I would say, would be defensive end, where you have to replace both. We'll see if Northwestern can do just as well, if not even better, than last year's defense. If you saw the Wildcats gain at least 10 yards of offense last season, you might as well have framed the play because it didn't happen very often. 14.2%, that's the percentage of offensive plays that covered at least 10 yards for that Northwestern offense a year ago. Other than the ground attack, the offense really did not do its part in 2015. Their three losses were by an average of 33 points per contest. Yeah, that's where you need a passing attack. So we'll see if things have come around for this offense. Uh, quarterback returning is Clayton uh, Thorson last season. Barely completed over half of his passes and had more interceptions than touchdowns. It doesn't help, though, that this year's receiving core is going to be very inexperienced. So if they have to continue to rely on the ground game, that means that once again, uh, they're running back from a year ago. Uh, Justin Jackson is going to be one busy guy. Last year, he got over 300 touches, which was the third most of any back in college football. So we'll see if uh, his durability uh, prevails. They do return uh, three of their offensive linemen, including both tackles. Hey, so what's going down now? My blood alcohol level. <laughs> Suds, do your work. On the six-pack games to consume, the Wildcats won't leave Evanston, Illinois for all of September. That includes the Big Ten opener against Nebraska, but the schedule gets tougher beginning in October. Five of the next seven on the road, including Big Ten West champ Iowa and Powers Michigan State and Ohio State. Because of their deed, Northwestern will qualify for a bowl game, but I don't see the Wildcats winning more than seven. That offense can't just be Justin Jackson running the ball, and the tougher schedule doesn't help matters either. That's my look at the Wildcats. Take it easy.